Hey everybody, we have a very exciting announcement today. And we have a comedian, stay tuned. Hey! Hey, hi. Welcome to the Natasha and Debbie show. Hello. That's brutal. Just, just two patriotic girls. So please don't take us the wrong way. Hey everybody, so sorry that this video is late. Um, we've had a lot going on, so yeah. we, we apologize for the lateness of the video, but we're glad you're here. Yes, hi. <laughs> glad you're here too. I'm glad I'm here. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Thank you. Now that we're all glad, um, <laughs> we are uh, definitely excited about uh, doing a new comedian for you guys. Yes. And um, you know, as usual, uh, please like our video. Um, please consider subscribing. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> Um, we'd love to have you guys subscribe to our channel. Um, adding more people is always fun. Yes. Yeah. And as always, coming to you from our basement in Cincinnati. Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm afraid you forget like last time. And I uh, have my lovely wife, Debbie. And my lovely wife, Natasha. <laughs> We're being goofy because uh, it's October, as you know. Our anniversary month. Woohoo! 18 the, years. 18 years on the 19th. On the 19th. If one of us doesn't kill the other by then. Well, <laughs> I'm just kidding. It is spooky <laughs> Halloween season. And what's next month? Nothing. Somebody has a special birthday. Where? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you mean by not special. Not the dog in the corner, you. I <laughs> it's, 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 it's not a birthday to celebrate. November is her birthday month. Yes, it is. It's a milestone. <laughs> it's definitely a milestone. Um, but anyway, uh, we did have an exciting announcement to let you guys know. Many yes. have asked since our very first video. Mm -hmm. And we finally did it. We got a P.O. Box! Yay! We finally got a P.O. Box. And that the script, uh, well actually the address is in the description of this video. Mm -hmm. And will always be on our channel information under the About section. Yes. And um, you know, we have always said no perishable items. And we mean it even more so now because we know that unfortunately yes. there are some problems we know about um, in the UK with some shortages on food. Yeah, so please don't send us any food. Keep that for yourselves. Please keep and that for yourselves. If there's anything we can help you with, please let us know. Yeah, absolutely. We'll do our best. Yeah, and and you don't have to send us anything. Just so many people have asked no. us to get one, and we're right. like, why not? That'd be fun. Sure. So we thought we would. Absolutely. And so today we're going to be doing Al Murray versus Americans. This has oh. been suggested a ton. Now we chose this one because. Um, few reasons. Um, we looked into several different other comedians that we mm -hmm. could do, and unfortunately, there are so many copyright issues. Um, right. Unfortunately, guys, we're not going to be able to do a ton of comedian stuff. Now, we know there's other people that do, and if they want to fight copyright battles, all, all power to them. But unfortunately, it's not something I find fun. We were told in the comments section, and I told you a little bit about this, um, to know about this specific uh, clip here, was I guess Al Murray, we were told, is um, playing the pub landlord. He plays a character. I told you this. So he owns a pub? I don't know. I, whatever I told you the other day. Okay. Um, but uh, I guess he plays this character, the pub landlord. Guys, correct me if I'm wrong on this. Um, this is just the information was given to us in comments and messages. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's playing an overly um, patriotic, I guess, British guy. Okay. Um, and uh, kind of more spoofing the British side of things than American so much. And uh, I guess they kind of said it like if it was like a version of us, like an overly Americanized, like okay. Americanized. Patriotic American, you know, right. I guess. Um, and the guy, I guess the, the, this guy in real life is like super smart. So okay, uh, that's all I know. Uh, but that was told to us for information reasons that maybe would be helpful. I, I have no idea. So let's dive into it, see what we think about it, and uh, check it out. Discuss it after the fact. I'm going to click like I always do. And here we go. Let's learn about Al Murray. Let's check him out. Check him. You're beautiful. You're beautiful people. Have we got, have we got anyone from overseas here tonight? Anybody here from overseas? Yeah? What, fabulous. From which vanquished nation do you hail, sir? Tell me. Vanquished. <laughs> Where from? Uh, United States. United States. Fantastic. Yeah. Welcome. Right? Welcome. I love you people. What's your name, Squire? Neil. Neil. Beautiful British name. Now, Neil. <laughs> Neil, how, how long have you been in Great Britain, Squire? Uh, two weeks. <laughs> two weeks. Yeah, yeah. Tell me, if you had to sum up Great Britain in one word, Neil, what would it be, mate? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on, Neil. <laughs> Shit will get off the pot, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you what? Football. Football. No. Nah, the word you're looking for, mate, is great, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> 
losing the name for fuck's sake. <laughs> Those are yank. <laughs> No, I love Americans, you're beautiful people, aren't you? Yeah? Yeah, you're beautiful people. Because the world, no, I love them. Huh? Back off, I love them. <laughs> <laughs> I love them, I love Americans, because the world needs people like Americans, don't they? Because you're dreamers, aren't you? Yeah? Yeah? They you're dreamers, dreamers, aren't you, Neil? Yeah? Because you've got that American dream. The American dream. Yeah? You're an American dreamer. <laughs> Dreaming the American dream, aren't you, Neil? Yeah? Yeah? Now, the fact is, Neil, we don't have a dream in Great Britain. We don't. <laughs> there is no British dream. Yeah? Yeah. This isn't because we lack some sort of sense of moral purpose. This isn't because we haven't got a sense of guiding destiny taking us towards a better tomorrow. No, we don't have a dream in this country, Neil, because we're awake. So <laughs> That's good. Why is that? Why is that dream of yours anyway? Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, I'd be embarrassed to write that down if I were you. It's a pleasure to have you. You're beautiful, bloke. <laughs> I love Americans, you're beautiful people. Yeah? You're simple folk, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> if an American can't explain something, he says he's aliens, doesn't he? <laughs> At least British people are prepared to admit when they're pissed, Neil. <laughs> <laughs> That's so we're true. sensible people in this country. This is a reasonable country, it's a reasonable size, isn't it? Great Britain isn't that big. Yeah? America's vast, isn't it? Far too big, unwieldy country. Yeah? <laughs> Britain's compact. Yeah? You reasonable size. I mean, the mountains aren't exactly that big, are they? Yeah? They're big enough to learn how to climb mountains and then practice and conquer other peoples. They're not that big in themselves. <laughs> yeah, the wildlife is not particularly wild, is it? <laughs> Squirrels are not going to hunt you down in packs, are they? <laughs> we don't have earthquakes in this country, do we? No, because we don't deserve them, it's that <laughs> Anyone who builds a city on a thing called the San Andreas Fault really has got it coming. <laughs> it's true. The fact is, Neil, it's not San Andreas' fault, is it? It's yours for building it there in the first place. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Classic, classic, classic American behaviour. Trying to palm the blame off onto some poor fucking Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. We're so sensible, <laughs> down-to-earth people in this country. I love this guy. Yes, Steve. Oh, we are. Here we are. Can you play God Save the Queen? Yeah. F, F. G. D, E, F. G, G. A, G. F, D. D, F, G. A, C. Now, the point is this. The point is this. You might have been stupid, eh? The point is this. I really like this guy. The point is this. I like him. We're sensible down to earth people in this country. Oh, hmm? <laughs> this is a sensible down to earth country. I mean, we never put a man on the moon, did we? No, nah, no. Nah. What would be the fucking point? New <laughs> 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 Yanks, you're banging about how you got there first, but no one else was trying, were they, mate? <laughs> First one on your own, isn't it? That's good. That's good. That's good. It's been a year. I mean. <laughs> Did you get that? We're <laughs> sensible people in this country, don't we? <laughs> Down to earth people. Yeah? yeah? Yeah, we never put man on the moon. Nah. Nah, the moon was never going to be part of the British Empire, was it, Major? <laughs> <laughs> There's no one to give it back to once we're done with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, There's no good. point going to the moon, putting in a railway trial by jury, parliamentary democracy. There's no bastards living there, is there? <laughs> That's the trick. There's nothing to be gained in the way of hot and spicy food <laughs> or Olympic quality athletes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. It's going kind of great. Good journey. He's great. I mean, why would the British, the very people who invented gravity, want to go somewhere <laughs> where there isn't any? Hey! It's in gravity. <laughs> it's all. You know, the moon should be left to its own business of tides, werewolves, and periods. No. 
if anyone can explain to me the actual difference between them last two. Change <laughs> <laughs> door later. Now, the point is this. <laughs> no, just one man's silver bullet is another woman's bar of chocolate. No, 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 no. <laughs> period, period, Neil. That's an example of a word that means different things to you and I, isn't it? quite. Yeah? Because you're a Yank and I'm British, yeah? <laughs> yeah? That's right. Period, yeah? To the American woman, the word period probably means something like full stop, it? <laughs> That's the same thing for American geezers, I know. Because we're divided by a common language, that's right, and a fucking great big ocean. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? It seems, that's abrupt ending, wow. Okay, didn't, didn't expect that. Divided by a common language <laughs> and a very big ocean. <laughs> There are like 10 million jokes in there that yeah. I, we gotta watch that back, I think, because I think I missed a couple. Did you get, I think I got the one with the hand thing, but. I don't think I did. Um, <laughs> okay, I like him. I that like Al Murray. That was fun. Um, <laughs> I feel like that wasn't like at all scripted. Like, no, I had no idea. Like it. Yeah. I mean, it came very natural. And then I remember, like I said, like the people said in the comments that he's a really smart guy and he kind of went off like for a minute there with some, like, yeah. I'm like, this guy's pretty smart. <laughs> you can tell. But that was great. And um, definitely enjoyable. Um, <laughs> uh, definitely different than Peter King. Definitely different. Yeah. Different flavors. Yes. For different tastes, right? Yes. Um, but uh, <laughs> that was good stuff. I, I definitely enjoyed it. Um, and you did too. That was hilarious. <laughs> I like the um, difference is a silver bullet and a chocolate bar. The moon thing was pretty funny, yeah, too. Good. Like, all of it was good. That was great. But, um, but abrupt ending, like, that was just done. But yeah, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do a whole lot more of comedians. We'll do some here and there, but, um, like, so there's just so many different copyright yeah, problems. Yeah, it stinks that we can't get them up on YouTube yeah. because of the copyrights. Yeah, and if you guys didn't uh, know already on our Facebook page, which you please go to, we do a lot of live videos and mm -hmm. talk with a lot of new new friends. Um, we were able to post um, the, the video that was blocked from a different comedian, Michael McIntyre, mm -hmm. onto our Facebook page, which yes. we were cracking up at that. That, yeah, was, that was good. That was great. I really did. That's not a good one. I enjoyed Michael McIntyre yeah. a lot. Like, just making fun of mundane daily stuff is a lot of fun to me. Mm -hmm. But this was great, too, and um, definitely different. Um, yes. And it's, I wonder, so does he do this act, like, in all of his stuff? Or is this just, like, one one thing? That's kind of my question, I guess. You know, you like, the, the, the pub, part? yeah, the pub landlord. Um, yeah, that's a good question. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like the video. Um, please, if you do, you know, comment, like uh -huh. it, um, consider subscribing. Absolutely. Um, again, we got our new P.O. box, so um, yes. open for deliveries. That sounded yeah. really weird. <laughs> <laughs> but again, just like we said before, um, no perishable items. You guys, please keep those. We know you need them. Yes. Um, for sure. And, um, you know, we appreciate everybody's love for uh, that we get in, on Absolutely. our videos. We appreciate you watching them. Um, for sure. And again, uh, we've been talking about doing a video of Debbie doing some cooking. Doing some cooking. And um, if you have some suggestions, do you want British food? Do you want American food? Of course, I don't really know what's actually American food anymore. I mean, it's all from somewhere else. Well, we but wouldn't even say American right. food, just maybe stuff we like that we have we'll here. We'll say Debbie's made up recipes. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't follow recipes. She, she just, just makes stuff up. And that's how it's so good. But so, I'm happy to have her make more scotch eggs for you. Do you want to watch her do it? <laughs> Do that too. I'm an addict. You are an addict. Oh, I am. Egg addict. Scotch egg addict. Get it right. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Just drop a line in the comments of what you'd like to see us do. Uh, yes. We're getting into spooky time. If you have any suggestions on like some spooky content, maybe we can find out the differences between um, Halloween in America versus the United Kingdom. Yeah, and if we can find a video. Yeah, help us find a video. Or something. Yeah, we'd love to take a suggestion. So, yes. um, Anyway, but um, thanks again for watching, guys. We appreciate you, and we will see you on Sunday's episode, right? Yes, on Sunday. All we'll right. See you then. Hey, God bless everybody. God bless. Bye bye.